Hey guys, how's it going? It's Ankler, and today I'm gonna show you how to make this really awesome laser base using FM inside of Serum. So without talking much longer, let's get started with this tutorial. So this base is gonna be very simple and we already have here our first part of the base, which is a saw. And we're gonna start by lowering two octave our saw and adding a second saw. And slightly detune that second saw. And now I'm gonna take down the level all the way down because we're not gonna use this like that because we're gonna go FN from B. And right now it's not doing anything until I add here our LFO and I'm gonna create a very aggressive curve like this. And of course, depending the amount of LFO that I add into the FM, it's going to be how loud and how high pitch is the bass. And I really like how that sounds in that tone area right there. Maybe lower a little bit more. And we can play with the semitones here to change the tone. And we can add voices here to make it stereo. We can remove the random to create a more pulse sort of. And then we can add here. We can remove the width to remove the stereo. But let's keep it simple. And that works perfectly fine. And what I'm doing here with the macro what I was doing with the detune is linking so that I have the same value for both detunes precisely. Now I'm going to add a high pass, high pass peak filter here. And this is going to give us all vowel tones. It's gonna, this is going to give us some extra movement. It's going to make it very vowel-y. And now I'm going to take the second peak. And you can really hear that wall tone there happening. So now that we remove the low end of this, I'm going to add a sub here. Another thing we can do is we can take this two octaves down and we and add a sync. And that's going to give us that nice little attack in the bass. We can also add some extra brightness here with um, some white noise. I of course like to add some multiband compression. And instead of raising the gain, I like to lower the threshold here. Now I add some distortion.
playing around with the LFO here really changes the sound, so we can definitely experiment with this. We can add some extra modulation here with this low pass filter. And this is gonna damping, it's gonna remove a little bit of that high end. Of course, adding some hyper dimension is a good idea to give it some more stereo. I like to add that before the compressor. We can add some extra peaks here. I'm going to add a nice little notch. I'm going to add some extra distortion using the drive of the filter. And make this louder. And you can see how really easy it is to manipulate and to really change this sound quite a bit. And now I'm going to add a little bit of post-processing here. <laughs> and what I'm going to do... I'm going to... I'm going to keep it very simple for the post-process. I'm going to add a OTT here and I'm going to remove the downward, the upward compression. It's just going to be... I'm going to clean it up quite a bit by adding a Pro-Q3 here and I'm going to drag this curve here up to a 200 and I'm going to set it to the side so this is going to remove the side information and keep it mono for the low end. And I'm going to make it more stereo on the high end by adding this curve like this. We can also go ahead and go back to our regular curve here. We can add a nice little dip here. Now I'm going to add a little bit and just a subtle amount of saturation. I really like to use Maximus for this one here. I already have a preset made for this. So I'm going to recreate it and show you guys how it is. 
So you have an empty Maximus here and you're going to disable the compressor. For the multiband, and you're just going to use a master compressor. You're going to set it to a limiting mode so it's not compressing anything. Set the threshold to 1%, set the ceiling to 1. And start increasing the gain until you have your desired results for saturation. And you can think of this basically as a soft clipper. So it's basically just clipping the sound and applying a very subtle amount of saturation. You can go and add even more saturation if you want it more aggressive. I like to go no more than 30% here on the left. So I find that more than 30% is a bit too aggressive for this soft clipping technique. <laughs> But as you can see, you can really crank the volume and it's going to keep very clean and it's not going to distort because this is basically just soft clipping instead of actually distorting and saturating, which gives a really clean result for the bass. You can add some unique flares, like for example, adding a frequency shifter. And I'm going to use my patcher preset for this, which divides and separates the low end with the high end here with the rhythm shifter. So. It's good practice to have like these types of effects before the EQ. We can also add a little bit of tonal delay here. I'm going to select the default preset. And I don't want the high end to be affected, so I'm going to set it to the bandpass here. I'm going to set the cutoff point to around 2000 maybe. And I'm going to increase the output tone just a little bit so it doesn't have that high end. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to disable the tempo sync and instead of use the time sync. And that's basically how you can create a really awesome laser FN bass using Serum. And this is a really classic Serum bass that was very commonly and very frequently used back in 2013 down to 2016. It's a really classic sound design bass here. You can do very easily using Serum and you can apply these same bass techniques using Vital, Pigments, Faceplant and all those FM synths. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe to keep the channel alive and active. This was Soundkiller, and I'll see you in the next one.